and here we go with match number two of the night. There is a little bit of a change. It, it's not quite a change, so to speak, but it's the Skimmerhorns, no longer the Mercury Brothers, known as the Skimmerhorns now, Brad and Briar, still the same team that we know and that the Emerge fans do not seem to have a care for at all. They're wearing those Arkansas shirts. As you can hear, I'm on the razor back. saying that he hates Indiana and wants to go back to Arkansas, but I don't think they want to do that without getting a victory here tonight against their opponents. These guys are sharp around the edges, just like a Razorback. And uh, I, they've made Dolly read something on this card. Did you, did you hear her? She said the greatest tag team in the world. Yeah, I, I, you know, I'm not sure about that. They are a good tag team. They are a prolific team. But uh, when you, you've got to consider guys like Custom Made. I, I hate even saying that. But you've got to consider Custom Made as a good, as you know, one of the better tag teams, has so to speak. Has anybody heard from him yet? I mean, he's on, I mean, he's on your speed. Yeah, dial. I was about he's to say he's not answering. He's invited. He's invited you to his yacht, not us. Is anybody so. really upset that he's not? Here? Yeah, yeah. No, no I don't. I don't think oh anybody is. Speaking of uh, prolific tag teams and tag teams to compare them to. Our former Emerge Tag Team Champions, Triple Crown Champions as well. High Caliber, Chris Caliber, Donnie Idol. And we had uh, the opening match a rematch. This is also a rematch because at Cold Snap, we had the Skimmerhorns, then known as the Mercury Brothers. They actually got a victory over High Caliber. Their foot, their foot's were on the ropes. So that's something to consider, but I mean, High Caliber, their goal right now, they stuck together. They want tag gold together. And, you know, when they had that loss at Cold Snap, uh, I mean, the way that Caliber acted, he, he almost, he walked out on him. Let's be real. Let's just, it, it, very bluntly, he walked out on him. So this match, with everything to think over with the pandemic and not being in the ring together, let's see how they operate. Has been quite a while, you know, six months at least since the last Emerge show, since the last time these two have been together. But, you know, maybe the opportunity for that simmering down period uh, through the pandemic, the opportunity to, oh, the Stimmerhorns bringing it right to high caliber, quite even finish anything, but dumped uh, mercilessly out of the ring. And now they're looking to fly. Donnie, suicide dive. And now looking, looking to go other way. Coast to coast goes Donnie Idol. Didn't miss a step. I mean, these brothers are back in town and they are feeling it. They know those tag championships are just inside again. They just have to work their way up. And who is, Whoa. who works harder than Donnie Idol and Chris Callum? Oh, but Donnie driven right into the ring post and then Chris, Chris hung up on the top rope. And a big flag crossbody comes in, looking for the pin, two. <laughs> Only a two count, gonna take a lot more than that, but right back on the offensive. With the chaotic start from the Skimmelhorns, that's what they needed was to get on top. They need to play their game against High Caliber. They cannot let High Caliber uh, have this match in their own strategy. Skimmelhorns need to take advantage. Doing a great job working together as a team to isolate one member, cutting the ring effectively in half. We talk about this in tag matches often, but right now Caliber firing back with those big meat hooks of hands, but oh! Is that good tag work to you? Of course it is. It's a skim of horns, guys. It's a skim of horns, not to skim the eyes. They don't need to be breaking their eyes. Either way, they found themselves back on top controlling the match once again, picking on an isolated member. Caliber trying to fire back though, but he's, he's found himself in a rough spot. The crowd trying to get behind him. Caliber off the ropes, double back elbow has taken out Chris Caliber. Now, again, nifty tag team maneuvering from the Skimmerhorns. Still, something, something, oh. different, something different about High Caliber tonight. They're not in their hometown. 
They are They're not in Columbus, are they? That's true. And this is almost like deja vu for me because we saw Chris Caliber be isolated last month and it worked for the Skimmer Horns. That's not last month. <laughs> Donnie getting a and getting himself into the match and, and the referee having to, to pull him away. A fake tag was made, but the, the tag made once again. Skimmerhorn's still working well as a team, and they've, they've isolated who probably they feel was the stronger member. Obviously, Chris Caliber known for his strength, uh, but is a very uh, determined athlete as well and, and, and very tough to take down. The Skimmer Horns are somehow able to do it. And he has the size advantage as well. I mean, Donnie Idol is shorter than both of the Skimmer Horns. Big assisted splash. One, two, almost a three count. Brad and Breyer still able to be in control, just cannot find that three count just yet. And Lurch, I will say, uh, this is fundamental tag work by the Skimmer Horns here. I, I mean, they are back to yeah. basics. Just like Andy was saying, isolating Chris Caliber, cutting the ring in half. I mean, they look like a great A team. They look like a team yes. who would be in line for an emerge tag team championship. And, and these guys are brothers. They're not. They're not wrestling bros. These guys are brothers. And that Let's goes all way. Blood bonds do go quite a long way, and, and it really allows you to. To, to be a little bit better in terms of communication. And once again, Donnie Idol trying to get himself into the match, but this is actually causing a lot of a lot of problems for but, Caliber. And beautiful by them, because they're getting Donnie Idol worked up on the corner. And Donnie can't do anything if he's not tagged in. Work him up, get him hot-headed, let him make a mistake so that they can capitalize and get the W. They got to be careful though. That is that is what made you don't want to be on fire if he can get back into the matchup as Caliber found himself a way back into the match. Both bent down in the center of the ring. Donnie trying to do everything he can to get Chris back up, get that tag in. Just like I mentioned, Donnie is on fire right now. He is steaming. He wants in this match. What a luck blower there by Caliber. I mean, those Donnie and Chris are two of the most innovative Double tag, we've seen double tag Donnie. coming in. Donnie clears out one, clears out the other brother. He's taking, he is taking the skim awards to school right now. Both brothers caught in the corners. Donnie, clothesline to one, bulldog clothesline combo. What was that about Donnie catching fire? D exactly, two. Not able to get the three count, just barely kicked out. Gonna do a little bit more work. The Skimmer Horns really have not taken much in terms of damage. What has Donnie done? DDT STF combo. I mean, usually we talk about tag team maneuvers from two people. We're seeing individual tag team maneuvers. Donnie looking for the pin, but the arm under the ropes. Not able to, not able to even get the count. Wise move. And fantastic ref work there by J.B. Stewart. I mean, knows how important this match is. He wants to call it fair right down the middle. Donnie finally throwing him out to the outside. I don't think Ooh. Oh, and Breyer! Breyer gets a huge super kick from Chris, and that, leave, that leaves Brad all alone with Chris Caliber. And what a scary sight that is. That, that is not somebody you want to run into a dark alley oh. through. Pass up! Hold on, hold on, Brian trying to go in, he grabs the leg of Caliber and pulls him out from underneath, Donnie didn't get tagged in. Excellent awareness. With a big missile drop kick, Chris Caliber though, on the outside is taking Briar into the ring post. Chris is still the legal man, but Donnie is, Donnie is in the match, actually the tag did happen. Donnie looking to finish this on the Brad, but uh -oh. oh, big Canadian destroyer! And Donnie, Donnie look at surprise, the look on his face. He's telling Chris to go up. Oh my God, that is a big man going to the high risk district. Chris Caliber looking to fly. The oh, big swanton. That That's should it. be it. One, two, three. And, the, and high caliber, back to their winning ways, taking down Brad and Briar Skimmerhorn. What a, what a a turn of events for these two. And how poetic for High Caliber to come in here with their issues from Cold Snap, able to work it out and become brothers once again to defeat the brothers in the Skimmerhorns.
you have to think that High Caliber is now in a position to have a shot at those Tag Team Championships. Oh, uh, no, no. Not a more of a blanket ship the third has any say in it. Where is he? Where is he? I mean, have you, do you have any updates or what? I, I'm still texting him. I'm still trying to get a hold of him. Does he text you back anyways? Usually. Usually we FaceTime every night. Ah. And in the morning. I thought he had an Android. 